Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever this reaches you. I'm glad you're back. My name is Shakia, and I help people reconnect with themselves in order to better build and maintain healthy and viable community. And today I practiced reconnection by knowing that I hadn't practiced my languages like consistently in a bit. And learning languages is something that I very much enjoy. And so I took the time today to do some of that. That's how I reconnected. Today's hopes are shared by an anonymous hopeful. Hello and how are you? Hope you're doing well. And I hope this finds you well. I have my water with me here. I'm going to take a sip. And then we can get started. Anonymous Hopeful, what would you say hope feels like? A feeling of confidence that something is going to work out in your favor. What's the last thing you hope for? My business to succeed, making the money I need to quit my full-time job. Do you remember a time losing hope? Not exactly losing all of it, but... I've had some dark days. Is there a person you've lost connection with that you're hesitant in reaching back out to? Yes. Do you mind sharing why your relationship with the person from the above question is frayed? He hurt my feelings a few times, making me feel less than, not good enough for him. Now, consider that this truth from the above question is subjective. How would you frame it in an objective way? His actions. He says one thing, but does another. You've lived a long and adventurous life through hardships and love. And finally, it's time for you to be reincarnated. What do you come back as? Now, I usually give three options, but of course, you are free to choose an option that more speaks to you. A tree with interconnected roots that helps provide a home for all. A large and curious crow that thrives on solving puzzles. A musically vibrant whale who can only see in shades of gray. Anonymous hopeful stated that they would come back as a large crow. What is your most comfortable mode of expression and communication? Are you able to use it with those around you, or do you find it necessary to change how you express yourself with others? Speaking. It depends on the person. Sometimes it's easier or better to not say anything. I mostly express myself through words, speaking, and writing. If you've made it to the end of this interview, pretty cool. Still kicking. Love that for you. I will speak to you all next time, hopefully. Until then, stay you, stay fly, and stay hydrated. Your brain will think